I just wanted to hop on here for a second and just say like, okay, you know how you don't really realize, not like how good you got it, but you're like, damn, I'm so happy for this or that or the other, whenever you're just thinking about certain things. <laughs> but like for real, on a real note, I'm just so happy that I made my money somewhere else other than rapping. Because now I feel like this just like overwhelming freedom to be like, fuck you, you sold out, fuck you, I do whatever I want, fuck you. And I just like, I love being underground so much more than like mainstream. And I just feel like the, pe the people who are really trying to like eat off of it, like have to be mainstream if you want, you know, the nice car and the nice house and shit like that, which is like what everyone wants. But on the opposite end of it, you guys, the team of skies. Who don't give a fuck? My name can be left out of everything because I made my money somewhere else. And you know, I got plenty of it. <laughs> so it's just kind of funny to me, you know, to see these people like really reach in. Really, really reach in. For fame, for clout, for just like anything to get views, to get their like monetization up, you feel? And it's just like mad funny to me because... Like, good on them, good on your, your grind and stuff, but, like, to what end? To what end? Like, even I have to take a break, you know? Like, like me, I worked for four years straight, and even I have to take a fucking break. But, like, when you make your persona on all the fucking time, then you're never going to have a break, because you're always going to have to be... Kanye West or Donald Trump or whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? And I just think that, like, they're clowning. Even, like, J. Cole, like, he's clowning. He's like, oh, I'm humble and I'm woke. And then he's like, no one can feature on my shit because I'm more famous than they are and I don't want them to steal my clout. And you're like, Pfft. it's so funny to me that y'all have to worry about shit like that because I don't. Maybe you should take some of those millions that you got from the rap game and, you know, put it into some fucking real estate so you can get some fucking money somewhere else other than just sitting there fucking, like, reaching. Because, like, I made my money from zero dollars. I made my fucking money from the ground up in, like, four years. You can do it. And honestly, four years, I, wor I worked my ass off like a fucking dog for about two years. And then the third year was like, ooh, I can have days off now. And then the fourth year was like, ooh, <laughs> I barely got to work. And then, the, and then like, you know, four and a half years in, you're like, okay, maybe I should work because like, I want to make like a shit ton of money. I don't know. I just think it's, like, funny. I think it's really funny. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So, if... I'll be Steve Skies. Hi. Um, if you know, if you know any rappers that need a life coach, just send them my way. And I'll talk to them about those, those chains and shit that they don't need when they don't have a house and they don't have a car. And, you know, all that kind of shit. So... I can think of about 10 people who would need me to help them, like, right now, little Zan. Um, <laughs> but you get it, you get it. No hate, I'm just saying, like, it's retarded as fuck to make, okay, it's retarded as fuck to make several hundred thousand dollars off of the rap industry, because if I would have started my business with seven hundred, several hundred thousand dollars, I would be fucking over, I'd be Hugh Hef by now. But I, since I started it with zero dollars, and I'm already, like, maybe one-eighth of the way to be Hugh Hef, like, that's pretty fucking good. So, use these things. Use these resources. Don't just go and buy something fucking stupid. And if you don't have to sign a fucking contract, then don't. Do not do that shit. Those are slave contracts. I won't sign contracts for shit. The only contracts I sign are the ones where I'm exchanging goods with my models. That's it. Don't sign labor contracts. Fuck no. You can buy my music. You can buy some of my time. But you can't buy me as a person. 
You can't legally put me somewhere and say, if you don't show up here, then you owe us. Fuck that shit, no. Don't sign that contract. You know what? You should literally pull your fucking pants down, bend over, take a fucking shit on that contract, and then give it back to them and be like, would you like to revise it? Because, like, you have the power. If they didn't think they could make money off you, they can make money off you. You can make money off yourself. So just, like, recognize that and be like, hmm. If they think that it's worth it to make money off me, why don't I just do it for myself? Or hire someone with the money that I save up to do it for me. <sighs> I, I don't know. I'm just like, I'm not like on this rant, but it's, it's like I see all these people throwing their lives away for like, not even several hundred thousand dollars, bro. It's not even that good. They throw their fucking lives away and sign into these slave contracts for like, maybe 30 grand. One year's worth of work. And they're signed in for like 10 years. Oh, but we'll make you millions. Yeah, they'll make your image millions. Go ask people in Fifth Harmony about their slave contract. How they worked their ass off every day. Selling until the vocal cords couldn't even like work anymore. And they were getting paid like pennies on the dollar. Which is fine. Whenever you're getting paid stuff like overtime and all that kind of good stuff. But they don't get paid that when you sign those slave contracts. You don't get overtime. You don't get a day off. So don't sign the motherfucking contract. Say if you would like to collaborate with me, then great. But if you want to buy me, you can lick my asshole. Like it's not that hard. You can't get distracted by the shiny piece of paper and the people saying, hey, you can be something. I know. You know. That's why you're sitting there. So don't sign. No. You say something like, well, if you want to do a whatever, you don't need them. Fuck them. They need you because they're the ones sitting there fucking cocks broken trying to get you in there. So, <clears throat> what are you going to do? Okay. That's just my little piece of advice to some rappers who might not get it. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Take the money you get and turn it into more money. Merch, shows, do other things. You don't have to sign someone's fucking piece of paper for them to do the work for you. And I'm going to use one of these because I want to. You don't have to sign someone's fucking piece of paper for them to do the work for you. Probably not even the work. They're just going to go make a couple phone calls to the people who actually manage it. So make the fucking phone calls yourself. You don't really, this feels really good. Oh. You don't really need that shit, you know? Oh, this feels nice. Like, you don't need someone to hold your fucking hand through the hip hop community. You feel like there's so many people that did it before you and they had gatekeepers and all that shit and they had to sign their life away because they had to. That was the only way into the industry. Now you can make a fucking YouTube video, have every single person in your family watch it and share it, and it's like partially viral. Take advantage of that fucking shit. I'm just saying. I'm just fucking saying. It's because it's garbage. It's garbage to sit there. Oh, man. This feels good. But it's garbage to just sit there and be like, man... I have to do all of this stuff for someone else now because I signed my life away and I told them that I wouldn't retire until I was like 75 even though I'm like, or I told them that I legally wouldn't retire no matter how much money I made and now I'm 65 and I want to retire. Go ask Kanye. Go ask Kanye 
if he wants to retire and quit making music, he'll say fucking yes. But he can't because he signed a piece of paper. So just like food for thought. Food for fucking thought. You can do everything yourself now. You can run your own merch line. You can do events. There's no... There's nothing holding you back, you know? So, just food for thought, food for thought. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, you should listen to me. <laughs> okay, but I'm going to go and, like, actually take a shower because as nice as that was, that wasn't going to cut. So, anyway, bye!